Hi everybody, this is Christina with my Confection Obsession. And on this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an ombre cake. So first I wanna go over the materials that you're gonna need for this. This is a, actually a nine inch lemon cake under here, um, but you can of course use any size that you want, but you do want it um, completely covered with a white layer of frosting and you do want it cooled in the fridge. And so this one actually sat in the fridge overnight. So it's nice and hard and ready for us to frost. So I also have three shades of frosting. So I obviously went with blue. Um, the baby is going to be a boy. I have my three shades of frosting separated. I have my straight spatula here. I have just a butter knife because I actually like to start with that. I think it's completely easy to use. It's actually, to me, it's easier to use. I have a bowl because I'm gonna use this to scrape any excess frosting. And then I have a, a paper towel because it's very important that when you get to the smoothing stage of the cake that you actually clean off the spatula in between um, swipes when you're smoothing. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my darkest blue here. And I'm just gonna go around the bottom here. And it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect even stripes. Um, and you'll see even when I'm smoothing it, if there's an area that I want a little bit lighter or darker, all I do is I just add whatever frosting color I want and then I just smooth it out. I love these cakes. I think they look, um, to me, they kind of look boho and they're just really pretty. They get a lot of compliments. And the technique is actually very easy. Um, so it's a great cake to start with if you're kind of new to cake decorating. So I'm just gonna start with my darkest blue and just put that along the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and smooth this cake out. So I'm gonna use my flat offset spatula. I like to start with the top of the cakes when I'm smoothing them. So I'm just gonna start from the top here. And what I do, scrape any excess. So you're holding the spatula and you're not putting too much pressure down and you're just gliding it across. And I'm scraping off the excess and I'm cleaning it in between swipes. Okay, so the top looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the sides. The sides are a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna actually get down a little bit lower, and I'm gonna be holding my 
um, spatula. I always just call it a smoother. I'm holding my smoother um, parallel to the cake and I'll make sure that you guys can see that here. So it looks like that. And again, I'm not putting too much pressure on the cake because I don't want to kind of gouge it or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just start. And you can see with the first one, it already started blending. So again, you're always going to be scraping your excess and cleaning it. So on this bottom, I see there's a lot of light blue here and I actually think I want to add a little bit of more dark blue. So I'm just going to take from my frosting and add it in where I want it. So I'm going all the way around for that first initial blend and then I'm going to go back in and kind of just decide based on my own preference maybe where I want to kind of add a little bit more lighter shades or darker shades or if I need to add any more white in. So I did my first um, initial go around and I see some spots where I want to add a little bit more color so I'm just going to go back in and do that now. I don't like the look of um, clear lines and so I'm actually trying to kind of get a blended um, between the light blue and dark blue and then against the light blue and the white. So I did my second kind of touch up coat of frosting, you could call it, and I'm going to go back in and smooth it out again. This almost looks like a um, blue sky, it's really pretty. So you can see it's starting to get that really pretty ombre look that we see a lot it's really popular and you can make these cakes with any shade i've made them pink i've made them purple you can even actually use two different shades if you'd like you have to be a little bit more careful with that um, because you do want that blended look It's blending really nicely.
So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting it really smooth until I'm satisfied with it. So I'm just going around. there you have it we have our pretty ombre cake so what I'm gonna go ahead and do um, as a final step is I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up around the bottom um, you can actually even just take a paper towel with a little bit of water and be really careful and if you go around the bottom it'll take away all this excess um, from the frosting and you could even choose to pipe a little border I found that's really helpful if you have kind of like a messy um, seam from the cake. I just pipe a little border there and it, it really hides it. Um, so I am excited about this cake. Wish me luck, it's going on that plane tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe to my channel below. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest.